In this vlog, I'll be talking about funeral homes and my huge excitement. I got the job at the funeral home here on the island. So the shout out for this topic goes to Tony Velvino. I've been wanting this job for a really long time. So let me explain the history of it. So you know, being a funeral director is a calling for me. The Lord told me, and when I was in sixth grade, that he wanted me to be a funeral director. So that's what I've been focusing on. So I remember I did a project, picked it on a funeral home, a project about a funeral home. So that is what I've done. So I went to this funeral home when I was like 16, 15, I think I was 14. Don't remember the year, it was like back in 2008. And I've been like fixated with the funeral profession. So. It's long story to be short is that I've been like, since I've been in high school, I've been looking around for a job at, at a funeral home. But none of the funeral homes were hiring at the time. So I went to the Island Funeral Home, they were not hiring. And I went to Saul's Funeral Home, is a corporation. It's only in like Hardyville and Bluffton. So, but I mean, they're not hiring. So it's like, it's, it's cool. But, um, it's like first serve, first come. I mean, he'll, I'll, he'll, he'll, he'll let me know when he needs somebody. Like, Saul's funeral home will give me a call if they need help. First, my older sister's friend emailed me on Facebook, told me about this newspaper article. The Island Funeral Home put an ad in the paper that they were looking for a transfer like to join looking for someone to join the transfer team but that's a good start for me to move work myself up in the funeral profession because at Publix I was a bag boy I started as a bag boy then I got promoted to grocery stock clerk but that's the end of the road because Publix they think I'm too retarded to be a, a GRS. I mean a, a GRS at Publix, they order product, they, it, I don't have time to get into detail what they do, but it's like Publix, they treat me like I'm special, you know? They think I'm different, which it doesn't bother me because my manager is great, what I have now. He's awesome, everybody, I'm not getting into detail about that. Everybody think that he has issues, but he's he's been a good manager to me because I'm a good worker. I'm loyal. I've been with Publix for nine years. This this summer, this summer I've been nine years. Next year, ten years. I'm a very faithful employee, so I'm gonna still be working with Publix as well with this new job. But right now, I'm on call. You see, I'm on call. So I have my suit where I'm easy access to grab my suit, put it on, and go. So, now let's talk about what I'm what I do at the funeral home. So, I'm a transfer team member. That's like the that's near the bottom. Where that's a starter. But once I per, once I get better and better because I'm planning to stay at the funeral home as long as I could. And I'm going to get promoted, get promoted, work myself up, get licensed. That's why my uh, that's why I'm in school so I could be able to get my license to practice and once I get my license I could start pra the practice and I could work my way my way up it's like a step ladder a job is like you start at the bottom you you get promoted you get you go up and up and up and up so that is what I'm working on so being on the transfer team is we're on call I'm on call on Mondays and Wednesdays because they only they hired me as a part time. That's that's okay. It's better than nothing. I can tell you that. From like those two days, from five o'clock in the afternoon to eight thirty or nine o'clock the next morning, I get to stay home, relax, do what I like to do, but have to have my suit near me because when I get called, I got to put my suit on, rush to the funeral home, get the hearse and go to the call so I have to do that less than a half hour have my suit on that's why I live near I, I live near the funeral home but it's, it's mid-island so I'll have to drive there so 
for example, if like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, I get a call, I have to get my suit on, meet my my coworker, because we have to have two people on call, and we meet him at the funeral home. We get into the hearse and we go to the call within the hour. We're at the scene, or hospital, or a house before an hour. Because I don't have time to explain, but just rules and I'm not going to be talking about the decedent or anything in the blog because that's all confidential and we keep all that secret, but I can tell you that um, I mean, I'm not going to be blogging about work related stuff because it's legal issues. We could get a lawsuit and you know what I'm meaning. You know what I'm trying to get to. So this is just a, a this is like my first actual foot in the door for my career. So because eventually when I get promoted, I would like to become full time and I don't work at the grocery store anymore because I'll miss everybody at the grocery store. I've, I love how they treat me sometimes because it gets me fucking horny and it's like I laugh about it but dude I mean like when people think I'm retarded at Publix they treat me like they think I'm retarded so some of them not all of them don't get me wrong or something some of them do but guess what they think it's a playground I take it serious so and I, and I get tired because I bust my ass all the time and and this is where I'll be sleeping at when I'm on call So I don't wake my other family members up. Got my phone charger connected, and this is where I'm gonna be sleeping at when I'm on call. And there's my suit, ready for work. I mean, I'm very excited about my new job, and it's a good step. So if you guys have a career in life, you should pursue your careers because you rather do something that you really enjoy instead of doing a job because a job is like because every mo every day like I work at Publix as like, oh I don't want to go to work this is something I don't want to do for the rest of my life but it's money I mean I've been working a lot so I could be able to earn my mom's Mustang because I would like to get my mom her car because she she's been a great mother and she deserves a new Mustang because she can't afford one and she would like a Mustang before her time comes to go to heaven you know I would like to be able to answer and give her dream because she sacrificed everything for us so I would like to make that happen so that's why I'm working a lot so I can have a big ass down payment for it so this was the blog about my funeral home and my jobs so Take, take some good advice from me about do something that you really enjoy. Don't do something you don't like. So, I catch you. So, next week's blog, I'll be talking about the Cujo boys. I mean, I got permission from the Cujo crew. I mean, it's like a, it's a crew of the Cujo boys. Cujo, 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 Cujo. And I'm going to be putting some of their music and background music in it as well. So... You guys tell me what you think, and next week will be about the Cujo Boys, so peace!